The Page Setup form is where you make template changes which are common to every page. For example, the page margins, header, and footer settings you make apply to every page in the category. The best approach to template design is often to experiment with settings and click the Print Preview button to see what it looks like. The page header is the area at the top of the page and includes options for the company banner, category label, and a spacer between these and the data. The page footer is the area at the bottom of the page and there are options for a spacer below the data as well as page numbers and other text. To format any of the text in the header or footer, click it to make it the active cell and then select a font, colors, or other attributes. There are three different types of templates and these are selected using the data option. The box containing the product description, images and tables is collectively referred to as the display unit. When you select a template style, the sample page here changes to give you a rough idea of the layout of the display units. The most common type of template is the grid. When you select this type of template, you also select the number of columns and rows you want. Grid templates are the easiest to design, so even if you intend to use dynamic templates, we recommend that you experiment with a grid design first. Dynamic templates are unique to Clevercat and are very useful where the number of rows in a detail table or the amount of text varies between items. With a dynamic template, the number of display units that can fit on a page cannot be known until print time. You can only select the number of columns you want to create. The layout option for dynamic templates will normally be down than across. This usually results in the most efficient use of the page. If across then down is selected, the tops of each display unit will line up. If the amount of data is variable, this will result in wasted space between units. The last type of template is the feature template. This is similar to a grid template, except that one display unit is larger than the rest. Each of these two sizes can have its own design. The large unit does not have to just be a larger version of a small one using the same formatting options. Feature templates are only intended to be used for a single page of items. This is because they use significantly more memory than other template styles. While the software will allow you to create categories with multiple feature pages, we recommend keeping the number of pages to a minimum to reduce the possibility of memory related errors. Some page options are only available to specific types of templates or are only available with other options. When an option is grayed out, it is because another option prevents it from being used. When an option is not visible, it is because it is not available to select a template style. Display unit borders and vertical lines have three options for thickness. The first is no border, and the second and third are hairline and single point. On some printers, there is no difference between hairline and single point. On others, hairline is nearly invisible, so try printing on paper to see which you prefer. Rounded corners or another option for display unit borders. If this option is used, the display unit must be designed in such a way as to keep all elements inside the borders, so that the square corner of another field does not protrude into the cutoff area of the corner. The corner and line thickness values set here also apply to rounded corners within the display unit itself. Another thing you can do for these settings is to create rectangular borders of different thicknesses. Set the corner radius to zero, and then set the line thickness to any value to create rectangular boxes. The page number width setting defines the width of the space in which the page number is printed. If this value is zero, the page number will be printed at the left or right edge of the page. If greater than zero, the page number will be centered in a box of that width. So, if you want the page number to be centered on the page, you would set the width equal to the width of the page minus the margins. The height adjust value is for fine tuning the overall height of the display unit. If the last row is not printed or runs into the footer, decrease the value. Increase the height if there is a gap between the last row and the footer. The fields grow and shrink option can be used with any template style, but is generally intended for use with dynamic templates and will be discussed in the dynamic templates tutorial. Lastly, before doing a print preview, select a working category. This does not permanently assign the current template to the selected category. It only sets which category will be used for sample data during the design process.